Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another video on YouTube from the vault, the Flo Joe's Family Speaks vault. I'm your host, Larry Wiggs. I'm known among my family as Little Larry, and we're going to call Uncle Lim and Uncle Lim and I spoke just a few minutes before I set up this audio equipment. And now that I'm ready to record, I am going to give him a call. So he is aware that I am calling him. And um, it's only been five minutes or so since I uh, notified him. So there isn't much preparation that's going into this call. So what you hear, what you get is the real deal, the raw. So let's call him up. Phone's ringing. Hello? Uncle Lim. Yeah. So you're on live. Your voice is being recorded. And this will, this recording will add oh, to. Oh, well, my face ain't live. Oh, well, it's only audio. I'll use, huh? you know, only your voice is going to be heard. They can only hear your voice. Okay. Hey, wait, what's your name? Rick? Uh, you want to start talking about Tiffany Haddish? Yeah, Tiffany Haddish. Yes, sir. Okay, so if Tiffany we Haddish. if we start talking about her... Go ahead, go ahead. Tiffany Haddish is a very good actress. Fine, gorgeous, and she's everything and should be in every man's world to me. As Flo Joe's brother speaking out. I mean, she just got out of a relationship. Dude got to be stupid as hell to... Uh, uh, let Tiffany Haddish go. Tiffany Haddish is, is, is the bomb to me. She's gorgeous. She's smart. She's intelligent. She's everything. Now, what else can I say to you? Ask me a question. Okay. Let's see. And I would love for her to play Frojo, my sister. Okay. So, speaking of Tiffany Haddish playing Auntie Dee Dee, um, what about Tiffany Haddish's complexion? She's she complexion? has yeah she that a, don't have nothing to do with it. You black, you black. <laughs> Be proud. That shit don't matter. Tiffany Haddish to me, and I'm not gonna repeat her last name because I may not pronounce it right. But Tiffany is a queen. And when you have a black queen that walk the way she do and talk the way she do, she can do whatever she want to do. When when a black man disrespects her and put her down like she's nothing, she's everything. She needs to, hey, bro, she needs to step her game up. That's what she needs to do. She's everything. Now, she can do whatever she got to do. She got the power to do it, and she got my respect to do it. All right. And uh, let's see. So that that's it. You know, we don't need to go any further discussing Tiffany Haddish. But there are people who want to know about, um, you know, the past and stories with Auntie what, what, what past are you talking about? Well, you know, just stories. You know, I didn't know that you ran with Auntie Dee Dee. And that you trained, and you ran for miles, right alongside so, her. Larry, I was, I was going, I was going fifteen miles, little Larry. I don't ran across, little Larry. I ran miles and miles with Flojo, and uh, that took me from the streets, little Larry, Flojo. 
Yes. I mean, when she say run, I say run. But I didn't give up. I ran with Uncle Roosevelt. Uncle Roosevelt, I'll tell you. I ran from my house to Roosevelt House to uh, 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 Paramount Downey. I just had to run, though, Larry, to keep from being in the streets, dude. That's what I did. But if, if I had kept on, I would have. I could have been a tank star, but I, hey man, it didn't happen that way, bro. But if I had a been motivated before I had an accident that I had, I, I could have did it, you know, Larry. I could, I, I could have been a gold medalist. But I mean, that's it. Every, everybody, you know, your dream is not your dream. Reality is something that that just comes in your life. And then you have to take control over it and say, hey, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go that, that way. 